Hey friends, it's Thomas here. So today I'm going to talk about the KEF 107. It's going to be a long video because um, the KEF 107 it has a special place in my heart. So for those of you who don't want to hear the story, I'm going to link the time to skip directly to it's the part where I talk about the speaker. And at the time when I first started in stereo, um, having to spend six, seven hundred bucks on a speed pair of speaker is a lot of money. I know that now that when you look at my videos, the speakers I deal with are in the 10,000, but you know, it's something that I have to learn the hard way. Meaning that if you want to achieve a certain level of sound, you have to spend. But in the beginning, I, uh, the speakers I, I bought were in the you know, 500, 600, 700 zone. And the KEF 105, as ugly as it looks, sounded amazing. In fact, it was not a speaker that I bought. It was a friend who bought it. <laughs> the thing about my friends is that they, they buy stuff and they bring it over and they let me test it, which I'm very fortunate, right? So the KEF 105 was one of the best sounding speaker at the time. And even to today, I mean, the, the only thing that lacks is the high resolution tweeter, which, you know, uh, I mean, uh, all vintage speaker did not have, right? But when it comes to the vocals and when it comes to bass, it was actually the vocals were fantastic the mid-range very sweet very smooth like, i mean today most of the things i try are metal based right so it, it lacks that sweetness that i found in the older speakers and the kef 105 i tried the 105 1 105 2 and i think 105 4 on top of that i forgot the numbers by now but you know, out of all the speakers we sold, we still kept one of the 105. It's that good. If you ask me to buy just based on look, I would never buy it. My friend bought it based on heavy recommendation by his other audiophile friend. The problem, of course, with these older speakers, you have to refund them, you have to put fluid in the tweeter again, and so forth. So regardless, the point is that at the time, the 105 was really good, and I spent a lot of time reading about the 107. The 107 does not come on the market often. If it does come on the market, people ask high price for it. When I say high price, it's over a thousand ish, two thousand, and I've seen them sell for two thousand recently too. Because of their history, their reputation, and maybe nostalgic factor, and maybe people like me who, who just want to try it, right? So they, they never have a problem selling. If you look at the KEF 107, there's like two woofers in it. There's, it uses the same, it, it looks like the, the mid range and the, the tweeter part looks like the uh, KEF 105. So recently I got a chance to pick up a KEF 107. Unfortunately, the, it was completely destroyed. The tweeters were burned. The uh, crossover were, were finished and whoever reconed the, um, the woofer did a horrible, horrible job. So I, I had to bring it to somebody to fix it. And fortunately I, I met Victor. Victor is really good. The sad part is once we open it, we realize, all right, it's going to cost too much to fix. Just the, the, the labor itself is, is just too, too much. So I sold it to Victor and he restored it. And uh, one of my asks was that when you restore it, let me listen to it. That's my whole goal of buying this KEF 107, to restore it and to listen to it and, you know, to make a video so I can share. Anybody who owns the KEF 104, 105 will be curious how the 107 sounds like. So if you look at the photos, you can see that uh, the, they need to redo, rebuild the tweeter. How often do you re see somebody rebuild a tweeter? Um, they had to build a new crossover because the last one was gone. And uh, they had to refoam the woofers. The woofers was really difficult. They had to heat it up again, get rid of the crazy glue. Somebody put crazy glue in it. And uh, it, it took a long time to do. In fact, it took them whole two weeks, not working on stop to restore the speaker. So that's why uh, the labor cost would have been too much for me. So I had to sell it to them. And I'm glad I did because, you know, somebody, he is somebody who loves speakers. And I'm glad this 107 ended up with him. So the KEF 107 comes with uh, a little device called the KEF Cube. It's basically an equalizer, right? You can adjust the bass, the tweeter, uh, the highs, and so forth. Yeah, it works fine. In the old times, there's, you know, using equalizer was not a bad thing, right? These days, equalizers don't exist anymore. 
But in the old times, I mean, tone control, bass control, they're all cool. It's just today we don't find them anymore. So I, I'm all for tone control. Um, you know, it took him two weeks nonstop, right, to fix it. And uh, the final product was simply amazing. So let me tell you about the sound of the KEF 107. First of all, the bass is very, very good. So you, the bass, the, the two bass drivers inside the cabinet, and uh, I'll see if I can find a photo. And there's no port in front. The, the bass comes from the comes from bottom to top. One thing we realize is that the bass is very solid, meaning that the shaft is built for this to house the bass is really, really solid. If you put your hand on the, the, the body, and if you hear the bass going, you don't feel vibration on the uh, the body, like the, the 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 wooden body part. It goes very low. I think on spec it goes down to twenty something hertz, thirty. I don't know. I have to check again. I'll list it in the description. But you can feel it. You can feel power. You can feel good control. And maybe it's the way the uh, cabinet is designed. The bass doesn't have that pressure in a good sense meaning that you can listen for a long time without having pressure on your ears. So it's very easy to listen to, relaxing. You can spend the whole day listening to it. Now, relative to, let's say, the older speakers of its generation, I say that it's very tight. Uh, power is delivered instantly when it comes to bass. Uh, of course, compared to my current speakers, like the Monitor Audio GX300, it's not as fast, but it is fast enough uh, that it is a leak uh, better than the older speakers like uh, the Van der Steen 2CE, which uh, is in the room, the Spender BC3. Uh, so definitely the bass is one of its strongest point. Now, I met people who said that it's easy to place these kef, and I met people who say that it was very difficult. Now, in my case, uh, as you see here, it's, it's not next to the wall. And in fact, I didn't expect the bass to be so amazing. Now, I know about the bass because a friend of a friend had it and he, he talks about it. Uh, but to hear in real action is like, whoa. And I'm used to the kef 105 with this big, it was a 12 inch woofer, and these are better tighter, faster, cleaner, really, really impressive. For the mid-range, yeah, it reminds me of the KEF 105. I don't think there's a big difference there. It's very sweet. Um, guitar sounds really nice on them. That's the, the part that amazes me. It, it's very different kind of guitar sound when it comes to, let's say compared to a Foco 926. Those are great for electric guitars. Uh, actually, no, those are good for guitars too. The, the reverbs are really uh, good with the um, the newer speakers. The older speakers have a different take on it, but uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it still sounds amazing. In fact, it's, uh, it's a topic of discussion between me and my friends on how the KEF, 10, uh, the KEF 105 um, handles guitar. Uh, the KEF 107 can do that fantastic too. Victor was describing it. This feels like a big boy speaker that is able to control the bass really well, as opposed to his other speaker at the back there. And a dose is like is is barely able to hold on to the driver. The KEF 107 can really hold on to those drivers. The weak part about the 107 are the tweeters, and uh, yeah, they remind me of the, the 105 tweeters. I mean, I can hear a little bit the the cheap tweeter sound. I wish that, well, not I wish. I mean, I, I guess, you know, if you put a super tweeter in it, they'll, they'll catch up to today's speaker. But for what it is, I mean, it's adequate, right? It's still detailed, it's still good. It's just I'm, I'm now taking this speaker so seriously that I'm comparing it to reference speakers that I'm used to. So once I get home and I listen to my reference, spe my own speakers, the newer ones, yeah, you, you can hear the, the gap is, is significant. It, it's still very good for today's standard. This will, will kick the ass of many, many, many of those speakers out there. Uh, I mean, it, it feels more a bit like the Elat UB5 uh, type of tweeter, where it's not very sharp, but it's detailed enough. Very musical. Yeah. They're not the speaker that you use to analyze song. You, you cannot hear the pin drop with this kind of speaker. 
that you can enjoy these speakers. You can spend hours listening to it. And there was a sense of excitement when I listened to them. And of course, it's possibly due to my anticipation. You know, finally, I get to listen to the 107. So we did, me and Victor, we discussed about it because his friend has four 104s. Uh, he has, of course, listened to the 105s, 105 slash 2, and so forth. Um, and without a doubt, he, he said the 107 is way ahead of those other speakers. So if you own the 105 and 104, if you ever wonder, you know, is it really better? I can tell you it's definitely better, way better, significantly better. I was really uh, moved when I was listening to it. It's like, yeah, it did not disappoint me. Like these speaker, after so many years, yeah, I, I finally get to meet you and you did not disappoint me. Uh, the KEF 107 is not a well-known speaker. Uh, but for those of you who ever do come across one and, uh, you, if, and if it's in good condition, because they need to be recalled and so forth, seriously, man, go, go pick them up. It, but sadly, they're, they're expensive in the sense like there's a high demand for it. If you can get one for less than a thousand bucks, man, you, you got the deal of the century. They usually go for a thousand five to two thousand two on the market. So, uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.